Hello, are you there? Hi. We just open for the student to ask the question and we can answer. Okay. Before we start the Q&A, would you please like give a summary of NTU? Uh, okay. NTU is the top one university in Taiwan and we offer many different fields of programs. So if you are interested to apply a degree program, you are very welcome to apply to us. And if you have any questions, okay, you can also ask us. Um, there is a question that we got before today. Did you have yes. what factors to consider when selecting your short list, especially scholarship? Okay, just for uh, if you want to apply the degree program to us, actually there are two major types of scholarship you can apply. One is the NTU scholarships. Okay, that is uh, when you apply a degree program to us uh, through the online application system, there's a column for you to choose. Okay, do you want to apply NTU scholarship? You just tick yes. Okay, so that's very easy to apply. And the second major type of the scholarship that is you can apply the Taiwan government scholarships. Okay, including the Ministry of Education scholarship and the MOFA Ministry of Foreign Affairs scholarships. Okay, and if you want to apply the government scholarship, you should apply to our representative office in Taiwan. Thank you very much. And also the next question, uh, the standard requirement for like for the faculty, like documentary, if they want to apply to the title, uh, yes, document they need to uh, prepare. Actually, if you want to apply a degree program, you need to make sure which program you want to apply and which degree you want to apply bachelor, master, or PhD. And you need to go to our Office of International Affairs website to check the program requirements for the detailed information and the required documents. Because each program requirement will have the different requirement for the applicants. So you need to check, okay, your program's requirement very carefully. Yeah, and if you have further question, you can email us. Do you have on campus dormitory? Uh, yes, we have the dormitory for the international students. Can you like summary a little bit for the? Um, actually, if you get admitted, we will uh, we will ask you okay uh, the dormitory uh, options, and we will provide a priority for you to choose. Okay. Yeah, so we have um, yes. we have three different type of the domes for the international students. One is the single room. Uh, the second one is the twin room, and the third one that is the twin of the quad rooms. That means two people to live in a room or four people to live in a room. Yes. So you need to tell us you want to okay uh, register a room first. Yeah. Okay, that's very good. And National Taiwan University has only one campus, right? Uh, actually, we had mm, different campus. Okay, but uh, actually, we have three different campuses. Oh, can you explain a little bit for Thai students? Uh, because uh, we have the uh, we have the largest campus in Taiwan, so we have uh, in Taipei we have the main campus, and next to our main campus there is a Shui campus that is nearby our main campus, and we also have uh, because uh, everybody understand that we have a very famous medicine a school of medicine, so we have a national Taiwan. Uh, hospital. Okay, so actually, so in the hospital, we also have a campus for the medical program student to study and have the internship there. Okay, thank you very much. 
Um, and also the student want to know a little bit about low school. Yeah, low school. Yeah, can you just uh, explain for the low school? Because the, the question is just low school, so I should find. Oh, okay, master degree for the law school. Yeah. Okay, let me search the information first. Okay, for the master school, we offer the uh, sufficient English courses to meet graduation requirements. So the courses are partly taught in English and partly taught in Chinese. However, student can take uh, the English courses Okay, to meet all the graduation credit requirement to uh, graduate. And uh, the if you want to apply for the master program in law, uh, you need to submit uh, both Chinese and English proficiency certificate. For the Chinese proficiency certificate, you need to uh, have, uh, you need to submit the talk for for the HSK certificate for at least uh, CEFR uh, B2 level. And for the English certificate, you need to meet the IELTS 6.0. Oh, the, yeah, or something like that. Uh, and you need to prepare the two recommendation letters and write the personal statement and research proposal for that and the, the other required academic doc documents. Yeah. So for the detailed documents, you need to check to our OIS website to learn the more detailed information. And any other question about this program? Um, no, right now we have the question, do you have finance department? Sorry, which department? Finance. Finance, yes, we have yes. finance. Actually, our College yes. of Management offer very uh, several different type of the program for the international students. So, including the accounting, finance, administrative, uh, uh, sorry, uh, uh, business administration, and also the MBA programs. Okay, so, and the most question that we got is, uh, can you tell us for the full English core program for all degree, like from bachelor to doctor? Okay, so uh, may I clarify your question? That is, you want to ask about the English topic for the bachelor program. In so that is, uh, that they are taught in Chinese. However, we have two programs. Okay, that offers English courses. Okay, one is civil engineering. That is the fully English top program. And the other one that is the English language and literature. And however, for this program, that is uh, uh, the, the the program offers sufficient English courses to meet great, uh, graduation requirements. So maybe some selective courses are also taught in Chinese. Yeah. Okay. So how about the IMBA? IMBA. Uh, you yeah, mean the international also, business? Also, yes, yes. International business for the master program? Uh, yes. I want to know for the IMBA is a full English taught program also, right? Uh, actually, for the for the English taught programs, uh, for the College of Management, the fully taught English. Uh, English program is only the global MBA and also the business administration. Okay, that is one track in the PhD program. Okay, but for the international business, okay, they are conducted in Chinese. Yeah. Also, can you summary a little bit for the scholarship that NTU offer for the Thai students? Okay, so uh, just have a summary for our school. Actually, uh, we offer many different types of the program for international students, and we have 11 colleges 
Okay, and for uh, some, uh, so every college and every program are very popular to the international student. However, we have some famous program, for example, the civil engineering and also the, uh, the program in the electrical engineering and computer science are also very popular. And students were also interested to apply uh, the program in our college of management. Okay, and this program are also very uh, uh, shares very leading positions in Asia. Okay, and we are very welcome. You, if you have any question, okay, you can access okay to to email to us, and our email is int admission at ntu.edu.tw. Okay. So you're welcome to apply to us. Yeah, I'm sure that a lot of Thai students is like preparing the documents right now for applying to National Taiwan University. Yes. And also and the most welcome uh, question is Jiang Shui scholarship. Yes. Yeah, they want to know a little bit of um, how you offer the scholarship for foreign okay. Thai students. Um, Okay, for the NTU scholarships for the international students, okay, uh, we have the different degree. Okay, if you uh, if you want to apply the bachelor's program, okay, uh, for the bachelor's program, the uh, the NTU scholarship will offer the benefit. What was have two type? One is tuition waive, and the second type that is the tuition waive plus monthly stipends of USD dollars to two hundred dollars. That is for the bachelor degree program. However, if you want to apply the master's program, okay, the NTU scholarship uh, will be, uh, have the benefit that is tuition waive and plus monthly stipend of at least 200 US dollars but for the phd programs we the benefit will be the tuition way plus monthly stipend of at least 265 us dollars so you are very welcome to uh, apply to us thank you very much and also the question about mandarin uh, mandarin course yes okay do you have the mandarin course in yes because we understand that uh, for most of the international students, they will worry about their Chinese professions, the ability, okay, to come to study at NTU. So uh, we will offer the free Mandarin courses for our international degree students. Okay, so if you are get admitted and study at NTU to become the international degree student, you can have the six hours for the uh, for the maximum the six hour per week. We offer the free courses, okay, for the international student to study. Yeah, and also, uh, I'm sure that Taiwan National Taiwan UC has the Mandarin Center also, right? Yes. Okay. So we can also you have a little bit yeah. about that. Uh, actually, we have two very uh, famous uh, Chinese language centers. One is called CLD, Chinese Language Center. Okay, that belongs to our College of Liberal Arts. And the other one that is the ICLP program. So ICLP means International Chinese Language Program. Yeah. And for these two uh, Chinese language centers. If you are not an NTU student, you, you can also apply to study the Mandarin courses at these two Chinese language centers. However, you need to pay. Yeah. Uh, okay, but this one is paid. Yeah. <laughs> but if you become the NTU international students, okay, if you want to learn the Mandarin courses, okay, uh, you can take the courses over by the CLD, okay. You have like a lot of Thai students over there, right? Uh, you you mean the Thai uh, 
Thai student in NTU? Yes, we have many uh, Thai international students. Okay, studying at NTU. Okay. Yeah. And we also have many overseas Chinese students coming from Thailand. Ah, that's yeah. good. So if you are, uh, if you have the status as the overseas Chinese student, you can uh, for the bachelor program. Maybe you can apply directly to us. However, you need to ask for your senior high school to recommend you to us, and then you can apply directly to us okay through the senior high school's recommendation and if you want to apply for the graduate program for example the master program and phd program and you can apply through the university entrance committee for overseas chinese students okay yeah so that is for the overseas chinese students so if you have yeah. that yeah. status, you are welcome to apply. Okay, thank you very much. And do you have like, do you want to leave any message to the Thai students? Okay, so uh, you are very welcome to ask the question to us. And if you have further question, you can email us or just uh, call us, okay? And uh, and so many international students have the very um, many questions about how to apply a degree program. Uh, but I suggest that uh, maybe you can check our OIS website first to learn how to apply for the 2021 September entry. And we offer many different types of the program, degree programs for you to choose. Okay, thank you very much for your Q&A today. Thank you very much for your time today. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you very much again. Okay, bye. bye.